For some, the idea of printing or saving to PDF is a bit confusing, but when you save something as a PDF file, you get an exact, exact replica of what is on your computer screen based upon your software. And the person that looks at the document does not have to have those that same software. In order to print to PDF, click File. There's several options here. There's one to save as PDF and there's one to print. I'm going to select print and then select a printer. And in this case, for me, it is Adobe PDF. I recommend it that if you do not have Adobe PDF, that you download a software called Cute PDF from cutepdf.com because this is something that you will want to do often. If you're looking on a, at a web page and you want to print the contents on it exactly as it is, then it's best to go to print, choose Adobe PDF or Cute PDF, and then just hit print. Okay. It's going to ask you to save the file, and this is why I think it's a little bit confusing when you start talking about printing uh, to PDF and saving to PDF. You're actually doing both. You're hitting print, and you're also saving the file. You have to name it. In this case, it's a sample essay, and the name is just fine, and I don't want to save it. So I'm going to just stick it on my de desktop temporarily and select save. It's processing and once it's done processing it just opens up in the PDF file format that you're used to probably seeing. Okay, so now this is a file that I can upload to iCollege or email to someone and it's not it looks exactly as it did on my screen so in other words it's not distorted many times if I ask people to send me a copy of some an article that they found on the internet on a website it's all out of proportion and hardly decipherable so this is why I'm saying that you need to know how to save a file or a web page to PDF, a document even, whatever. I just saved a Word document. You might want to save a web page, but you have to know how to first print to PDF and then save the document.